<clears throat> Welcome back everyone. Every Sunday, Pat Sullivan from Sullivan Hardware and Garden gives us some great advice for do it yourself home improvements. Today he's talking all about fall planting. Well, you've heard fall is for planting and it's more than just a slogan because truly fall really probably is the best time of year to plant because we have cooler temperatures. We uh, plants, because think about when you plant in the spring. You take a shrub or something and, and you put it in in the spring and we have nice cool temperatures in the spring, but what comes next? Hot, hot weather and puts stress on a new plant that has not established itself. So when you plant in the fall, now we have warm temperatures and even after it gets cool and you have cool nights but really starts to get cold, the ground stays warm. And when the ground stays warm, the roots develop. So fall is for planting. But the problem is everybody's tired of their lawn, so nobody wants a plant. And uh, because they're tired for their, uh, of their lawns and their landscape, a lot of times you have trouble finding plant material because garden centers are tired of it as well. So it's a little harder to find fresh product. So, but if you look around, the other thing, I mean, look at, like, look at this, like what will get us like, oh boy, that one doesn't look very good. Well, it doesn't look very good because it's almost fall. <laughs> so if you have a deciduous plant, don't let that, that's still a very healthy plant. So unlike if you have an, you know, an evergreen like this, that's a problem. You don't want to buy that plant because evergreens don't come back. But any of the deciduous plants like this, uh, this is a butterfly bush. So it doesn't look very good, but trust me, it'll be fine. It'll love the fall weather. So. The key to being success, successful when you're planting it all is making sure that you have a big enough hole that the plant can survive in. Because what people tend to do is they'll dig a hole this size, this deep. You wanna uh, dig that twice the size, even bigger, the, the bigger the better, because if you just dig at this, you, what you do because of our clay soil, you have a little clay cup and that lay, little clay uh, bowl holds water. So get it nice and big. And the other thing, what you'll wanna do, there's two ways to do. You can either take the dirt that was in there, chop it up, put it back in. The other way is to soften it somewhat. But if you use too much soft soil, the roots tend to go around and circle and can actually girdle because they, they have to live in the clay that we have. So the recommendation, take nice soft soil Mix it with half of what came out of the soil, the clay stuff, half of this, half clay, and that's kind of a nice mix for those to go. So the other thing you don't want to forget, this is a shock preventer, Biotone, or you'll find other ones like it. Uh, miracle Grow has one. Make sure that you're using something to prevent transplant shock, but in the fall, hopefully we won't have that. What you don't want to do is take regular fertilizer and drop it down inside the hole, because if you do, that will actually, can, the roots can pick it up and can kill it pretty quickly. So a couple things, this is called wilt proof. So a couple type of plants, they start to really, it's hard for them to get through. So boxwoods and hollies. So about November or so, if you would spray those, and what that does is help hold the moisture in, and at the same time, you can spray your Christmas greens. How about that? So fall is truly for planting. And if you missed any of Pat's previous segments, you're in luck. Don't worry. He has his own streaming show on WTHR Plus, so you can download the free app on Roku, Fire TV, or Apple TV.